With the rising cost of living these days, who doesn't want to save a buck or make their dollars stretch? Seminole County has many free services that can benefit your household budget. We'll show you how in our two-part program, Seminole County at Your Service. In this edition, we'll profile little-known programs, products, and services that can come in handy around the home. Do you ever wonder how safe and secure your home is from intruders? Well, Seminole County Sheriff's Office offers a complimentary program where they'll send a crime prevention specialist out to your home to conduct a home safety assessment. Come on inside and I'll show you how it works. With me is Margaret Levins. She's a crime prevention specialist with the Seminole County Sheriff's Office. And Margaret, typically what are you looking for in these home safety assessments? Well, what we're looking for is vulnerabilities, ways that a criminal can gain access to your home. So we want to reduce those vulnerabilities. And one of the biggest vulnerabilities that we see right here is the glass on the door itself. Margaret advises installing an impact resistant security film over the glass door window when it is 40 inches or less away from the door lock and a deadbolt that has spool and pin technology. This prevents the lock from being picked open. She checks our homeowner's deadbolt to see if it makes a secure connection of at least one inch into the door frame. Sometimes with new construction, there's all kinds of um, leftover wood in there and shavings that you need to bring out, and it will prevent that deadbolt from going all the way in. And if that's the case, somebody can just go ahead and just pry with a screwdriver or a knife mm -hmm. and get right into your home. All right, so that takes care of our front door assessment. Mm -hmm. Where shall we go to next? Well, let's go over to the sliding glass door since that is the most, one of the most common doors in a home. All right, you lead, I'll follow. Okay. All right, so here we are at the sliding glass door in another ac access point, I guess, if you yes. will, for a home. What are you looking for here? This is an extremely vulnerable place in any home. Uh, sliding glass doors are notorious for being the most easily pryable as far as doors go. In these safety assessments, homeowners learn how to retrofit areas of the home that are most vulnerable, such as the sliding glass door. There are additional locks that you can purchase at any hardware store that you can install that work very similarly to what we just showed you with the pin going up into the track. You just need to make sure that recessed area up into the track is deep enough to receive this. In addition to installing top locks on the doors, Margaret recommends placing a long piece of wood into the sliding glass door track for extra measure to prevent the door from opening. All right, so we've talked about the importance of checking our sliding glass doors. What other areas of the home should a homeowner be focused on? Well, securing your windows in your home is another important area that we need to talk about. So let's take a walk over to one of the children's bedrooms and I'll show you how we can do that. All right, let's go. All right, so Margaret, here we are in a little girl's room. Mm -hmm. uh, obviously an area of the house, our children's rooms that we are particularly concerned about. Right. What do I need to be aware of here with the windows? Mm -hmm. Well, first of all, you want to make sure that the existing locks on the windows are working properly. Margaret recommends that each window in a home have at least two additional window, window locks. These can be purchased inexpensively at most hardware stores. She encourages homeowners without a wired alarm system to purchase window alarms. It comes with some um, adhesive that I don't have right now, but you stick it on the back of this, mm -hmm. stick it on the, the window itself. The other one goes on the portion of the window that moves. You could either use this, this one happens to be a window alarm, but there's ones for doors. Mm -hmm. And if that contact is broken, it will emit a very shrill sound, alerting you as the homeowner or as the parent to say, okay, there's been a window open in my son or daughter's room. And again, that's a great affordable alternative yes. to a traditional alarm system for those who are not in the market for that. Absolutely, and even if you live in an apartment, mm -hmm. you know, you're not a homeowner, right. this is really a very good option. At the end of the home safety assessment, Homeowners receive a list of recommended actions that they can take to better protect their home against intruders. We do the assessment. I'd like to give them a top five list, the most vulnerable areas in their home, beginning with the most important. 
and then tell them this needs to be done right away. Number five can probably wait a couple of months, you know, when you get more money than you're able to do it. Usually there is an inexpensive solution for every problem, but sometimes it's not that easy. Sometimes there are situations where you just have to replace a door and it's sure. going to require some financial output. And again, this is a very useful, important program that's offered free of charge to individuals mm -hmm. within Seminole County. If somebody would like a home safety assessment, how can they get one? They could just contact the Seminole County Sheriff's Office Crime Prevention Unit. To schedule a free home safety assessment, call the Seminole County Sheriff's Office Crime Prevention Unit at 407-665-6748 or 407-665-6480. Did you know that there are many easy and creative ways to save money on your water bill? Well, Water Conservation with Seminole County is here to help, so let's go in and visit. They're located at the Reflections Plaza on Lake Mary Boulevard. In our front lobby at the Environmental Services Department, we have what we call the Water Conservation Corner. And any customer that comes in can gladly come over and pick up whatever device they want. We have everything ranging from low flow shower heads to toilet tummies. Toilet tummies will displace the water in your toilets. So let's take a visit to this water conservation corner and check out some of the free goodies that you can get to save money on your water bill. First up, here is a rain gauge. You can put this in your yard to gauge how much mother nature is actually watering your lawn. We've got, uh, this is super cool. This is a foil lined fat trapper bag. And this is for when you cook with grease and you're through cooking and you wonder where to dispose of it. Well, you definitely don't want to put that cooking grease down the drain. You can put it in one of these bags, store it in this plastic container, and then throw out the bag when you're ready to dispose of your trash. Something you can pick up again here for, for free. We've got coloring books galore for the children to keep them interested in learning about water conservation. And we've got these toilet tummies here that Debbie talked about to displace water in our tank. We've also got these shower heads. You can retrofit your shower to save on your water usage, as well as these toilet leak test tablets that Debbie talked about that dye your water blue to let you know if you've got a leak, a slow leak, a silent leak in your toilet. There are so many things here that are useful to you, not only to help you save water usage, but also to teach you a little bit more about wise water usage. It's worth it for you to pick up these items. We have a variety of them. I'll be glad to talk to you about them and show you exactly how they work. And we could probably even figure out how much savings you will get because we can do a consumption analysis on your bill like in a month or two and show you what your savings actually is. Another big way to shrink your water bill is with proper lawn irrigation. In Central Florida we love our lush lawns but there are common mistakes that can cost us. The Seminole County Environmental Services Department offers a free irrigation evaluation to its customers to show you how to keep your lawn watered and healthy without wasting the water supply. The evaluation will show the customer how to properly use their irrigation systems or some people know those by a sprinkler system. So they will go out there and do a full audit evaluation of their whole sprinkler system looking for leaks, looking for times, looking for days that they're watering on and help them to lower their watering bill and saving money and it saves our water as well. Seminole County already has residential watering restrictions in place. There's no watering between the hours of 10 a.m. and 4 p.m. on any day. And customers with even street numbers water Thursdays and Sundays, while those with odd street numbers water Wednesdays and Saturdays. Commercial and other water customers water Tuesdays and Fridays. But there are common mistakes many homeowners make. I would say more than 75% of the irrigation evaluations that we do, you always see a savings in your water bill. And with the recent price increase with the water bills, everybody is really looking at their pocketbook and how they can save, you know, a nickel and a dime here. Well, we're actually finding that they can save, you know, dollars, lots of dollars, and it saves a lot of water too. Seminole County has a contract with Clearwater Products and Services, which conducts the free irrigation evaluation. To request a free irrigation evaluation, Seminole County water customers can call 407-665-2010.
or go to the website at www.seminolecountyfl.gov and click on the water conservation icon. With the irrigation evaluations, we know it's working because our uh, statistical information has shown that we're saving over a million gallons of water a year. So we know it's working. Gardening in Central Florida is a popular pastime, but it can be a challenging one with our climate that sees little seasonal change. Well, Seminole County can step in and offer you free gardening advice. Everything from residential plant clinics to soil testing through the County Extension Office. We're going to meet Barbara Hughes and learn more about the many complimentary programs. We offer a lot of opportunities for the residents here in Seminole County. We have a plant clinic, so you can bring in a piece of a plant if you want, a limb or a leaf, and we can diagnose diseases. We can talk about insects. We can diagnose insects. If you have sod and you're having problems with it, you can bring in a square piece of sod, partially dead and partially alive. We don't want it totally dead or else we won't be able to tell and we can tell if you have mole crickets or chinch bugs or all sorts of things if you're watering too much, if you're not watering enough. The Seminole County Extension Service is a part of the U.S. Department of Agriculture and has research stations around the state. It's also affiliated with the University of Florida and has access to over 253 state specialists to help diagnose lawn and gardening issues. Locally, there are volunteer master gardeners on duty each weekday to answer your questions about your lawn or garden. Hi, I'm, I'm Jim Hunter, a Seminole County Master Gardener. As a volunteer for the Extension Service, we do all kinds of good things. Uh, we identify plant problems and insect problems, and we can do soil tests and all kinds of good advice with uh, landscaping in your, in your yard. If you can't stop by the Extension office with your plant sample, you can take a digital picture and email it to the county horticulturalist for a diagnosis. We got people bringing in ants that they think are termites sometimes, and of course we can identify uh, even as to what kind of termite it is. Uh, it can save you a lot of money with uh, pest control when you're having your, your house tenant or something like that. You can bring in soil samples if you want. For $1.50 we can test your pH. We can teach you about vegetable gardening, rose gardens, butterfly gardens, organic gardens. If you want to know what kinds of grasses to plant, if you have a very shady lawn, you should come to us first because we're here to educate you and give you the best information so you can make the best decision for you as a homeowner. A lot of homeowners in Central Florida like to have a citrus tree or two in their backyard. Now, if you're one of those homeowners that has a suspicious looking piece of citrus on your tree, you can simply bring in the sample to the county extension office and they'll examine it for citrus canker. We get a lot of new people moving to Seminole County uh, every day and perhaps uh, from other parts of the country. And, they, and the gardening here is so much different than any other part of the country that you really have to get attuned to how to grow your plants here in Central Florida. And the Extension Service can be a great help to you there so you don't make costly mistakes and, and errors. The County Extension Service also offers free newsletters and classes on a variety of home and family topics such as child development, food and nutrition, healthy living and energy efficiency. We have actually solutions for your life. That's our tag. And we are here to serve the public. We take that very seriously. We're an educational organization. I think they should come to us first before they buy a product because we want to give them all the information that will, they will need to make the wisest decisions. Inside the home, Seminole County offers several products and services aimed at homeowner safety and injury prevention. All, of course, gratis. Smoke detectors are available for free from the Seminole County Fire Services. The fire department is also involved in a, in a grant program with Safe Kids Worldwide and for people who do qualify and meet certain restrictions can get free smoke detectors for their homes. These are 10 year lithium battery power detectors where basically you just have to plug it in the first time and forget about it for about 10 years. All you have to do is just test it weekly and dust it out periodically. To request a free smoke detector call 407-665-5113. For those with firearms in the home, the Seminole County Sheriff's Office offers free gun locks. Project Child Safe is an initiative that we started at the Sheriff's Office back in 2001. And it's an opportunity for all gun owners to be able to get a free gun lock. 
for all their firearms in their house. Because it's very important for caregivers, for guardians of children to realize that they need to make sure they secure their firearms in their house so that way juveniles do not have access to them. Seminole County residents can pick up the gun locks at no charge from any of the Seminole County Sheriff Office District Service Centers or here in the lobby of the Public Safety Building located at 100 Bush Boulevard in Sanford. They're very user friendly. You just have to make sure um, not this one key just fits this gun lock. So you can't get two gun locks and use the same key for both. There's different lock on each so you need to make sure that you keep track of that. And um, but they're very easy to use. They just go ahead and they just open up. There's instructions in there for you. And you just go ahead and put this through um, the firearm. So let's say it's time to clean out your garage. What do you do with all those old household chemicals and paint and car products? Well, here's what you don't do. You don't gather it up and dump it into a plastic bag to leave out for curbside pickup because that's just dangerous. You take it here to the Central Transfer Station they have a free household hazardous waste disposal program. Come on, let's take a look. It's important for homeowners to label their household hazardous waste, uh, number one, for their safety, because sometimes they get, re get it ready and don't bring it all the time and then they forget what it is. Number two, for our workers' safety, so we know what it is. We, we handle all kinds of chemicals and our workers are potentially exposed to all kinds of materials and on a long-term basis, we wanna make sure they're safe. And the other reason is, we want to keep it separated and in the right pot, in, the, in the right area. We don't want people bringing in. The worst thing we get is the magical black plastic bag full of chemicals. Uh, things get broken in those bags. We have chemical reactions. The Seminole County landfill, located in Geneva, has a capacity of more than 50 years. It's a tremendous benefit to taxpayers, made possible with a wise disposal of our garbage. Old, used tires cannot go into the landfill and instead are recycled into landscape and playground materials or an alternate fuel source for electricity production. The Central Transfer Station and the landfill accept tires for a fee of a dollar each, but throughout the year there are several opportunities to dispose of these old tires for free during Tire Amnesty Days. Tire Amnesty Day takes place once every quarter at the transfer station and the landfill. Uh, it's an opportunity for private residents, homeowners, not businesses, to bring in up to 10 tires for free and not be charged for them, get rid of those old tires. Again, you can bring 10 tires for free on those days. It's advertised in the newspaper. Part of our responsibility as consumers is to properly dispose of the many products that we accumulate. Now with rapidly changing technology, there's a lot of electronic waste being generated. Things such as television screens and computer monitors. These items simply cannot end up in the landfill because they contaminate the environment. So Seminole County offers a free program known as e-scrap. The, the danger and concern with e-scrap is, is, is the metals in them, heavy metals we call them. The number one is, is lead. Uh, lead is in your typical TV picture tube, your old fashioned CRT type monitor. That has two to six pounds of lead in it. And uh, also in the circuit boards. The circuit boards are made with lead solder. And uh, it, the concern is that in the landfill, that lead will leach out and again, affect what's in the landfill. End of life electronics are accepted for recycling at the Central Transfer Station's Household Hazardous Waste Collection Facility during normal operating hours, Monday through Saturday. We have a sharps program and it's, it's out there to collect sharps from home users. Uh, it's mostly for people, the, the common one is people who take insulin for diabetes. And uh, it's a, a way for those people to get rid of their hypodermic syringes, their lances and things like that that they use for free and to protect the environment. And the sharps program is very simple. You can go to any fire station, whether it be county or city, in, within Seminole County, pick up a free sharps container, take it home, fill it up, take it back to the fire station, and uh, they'll give you a new sharps container. You can also pick it up at the transfer station, the landfill, and some other areas that are listed on our website. We all know we should recycle, and to encourage this, the county offers to individuals who live in unincorporated areas these green bins to store your recyclables free of charge. All you have to do is call and ask for it. The county also asks that you rinse your materials before you deposit them in the bins for pickup. 
Now let's say you live in an apartment and this service isn't offered. You can come here to the central transfer station and deposit your recyclables free of charge. You can also place your recyclables curbside for collection in these green bins. Here's a list of the materials accepted in the curbside recycling program. Newspapers, magazines, catalogs, plastic bottles number one through seven, glass bottles and jars that are clear, brown or green, aluminum cans, steel cans, and telephone books which are collected seasonally. Most of the uh, recyclables that are collected in the cities and in the county are delivered here to the central transfer station. And then we send them to a processing plant in Orange County. At the landfill in Geneva, a newly paved citizens area allows you to unload large sized garbage instead of driving it up to the top of the mound. Plans for a new citizens area are also in progress at the central transfer station. Now, if you don't want to haul off all this oversized garbage yourself, you can call for a special pickup. For residents in unincorporated county for whom we provide collection service, um, if you have a sofa or a bed mattress to get rid of and you're just saying, hmm, I'm not sure the regular garbage man will pick that up, the answer is the regular garbage man will pick that up, but you have to call to schedule that collection. Here in Seminole County, garbage collectors will pick up an unlimited amount of garbage that you set out on the curb as long as it's in 40-gallon containers with lids or 40-gallon bags, each weighing no more than 50 pounds. Yard waste collection is limited to 10 bags, tied bundles, or cans, also weighing no more than 50 pounds each. And what happens to all that yard waste? At the landfill, we take that yard waste and we process it into mulch. Um, some of that mulch we use at the landfill, some of the mulch we send for off-site reuse, but we do make some of the mulch available for individuals that are looking to do a landscape project or they need a small pickup truck load or something. If they come to the landfill, they can take as much mulch as they want for free for, for use um, around the house. Now while we're on the subject of curbside garbage pickup, there is a solution for homeowners hassled by stray animals that go rummaging through your trash. You can call Seminole County Animal Services to request an animal trap. However, the traps cannot be used for wildlife. There's no charge for animal services to loan a citizen one of these traps. We just ask that if you do capture a dog or a cat in it that you contact animal services and we will come and pick that animal up and bring it back to the shelter in order to give the animal's owner an opportunity to come and redeem it. Animal Services offers a variety of complimentary programs to help out homeowners, including presentations to homeowners associations. We do programs for civic groups, like homeowners association or rotary clubs, any civic group in our area will come and do a program for. A lot of homeowners groups have specific questions about the, the ordinances in Seminole County as they relate to animals or their particular homeowner group is having a problem with stray dogs or feral cats or anything like that. So we'll come and answer questions and talk to the group about the different things um, that they may have questions about as they pertain to animals in their community. So go ahead, take advantage of your tax dollars and request some of the many free products, services and programs, compliments of Seminole County. Up next, get something to write with because we're going to give you all of the contact information for items profiled in Seminole County at your service, the home edition. And be sure and watch our next edition which focuses on kids, family, and community. Are you ready? Here it goes. Solid waste management programs such as recycling, household hazardous waste drop-off, large garbage pickup, free mulch or even facility tours, call 407-665-2260. Log on to www.seminolesheriff.org for information on the free home safety assessments and the gun locks, or you can call 407-665-6748 or 407-665-6480. For gardening and landscaping advice, contact the County Extension Service at 407-665-5550. And for a free irrigation evaluation, free rain sensors, and other water conservation products, contact the Water Conservation Division at 407-665-2121.
And finally, for the many free programs offered by Animal Services, call 407-665-5201.